Ride the commuter rail, have your tickets out. The train is about to start checking boarding passes on a more regular basis. They want to make sure that no one is getting a free ride. And the crackdown could begin as soon as next week. Ken McLeod has more tonight from the rails. Amid the nightly stampede to hop their trains at North Station, homebound commuters weren't thrilled about it. It's typical MBTA stupidity. They have absolutely no clue what they're doing. They focus on the most irrelevant thing, and that's what they worry about. He's talking about the return of ticket checkers over the next couple of months to Back Bay, North, and South stations, demanding to see commuters' paper or e-tickets before letting them onto the train platform. It's stressful enough with all the trains being canceled and late or delayed, and then they bottleneck us to get home. That bottleneck drew plenty of complaints when Keolis tested it during the fall, but the commuter rail operator is determined to ramp it up. I'd rather not have the hassle. Thing is, freeloaders are a monster problem for Keolis, which argues it loses tens of millions of dollars every year to commuters who don't pay for their rides. I get it. I understand why they're doing it. It's a pain. The ticket checkers made the rush hour stampede a more frustrating process, essentially funneling commuters onto the platform as they fumbled for their tickets or phones, only to have conductors on board ask to see them again. Every time I get on the train, they always collect my ticket, so I don't know. I don't know where they're losing money. But Keolis argues that on packed trains, conductors often can't check all passengers, and many fare evaders escape. I think it's crazy, but I guess they have to do what they got to do. We're not going to win either way. Eventually, Keolis wants to install electronic fare gates, but there's no timetable yet. Well, that may be the answer. Who knows? Rider enthusiasm could be better. At North Station, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.